Hello everyone, and uh, this is the SCM Foundation, and I'm, my name is Finn, and today we will be teaching you all about Minecraft. Minecraft is a great game that sparks creativity and imagination, and Minecraft is a great game that lets you do that. Uh, within Minecraft, you have many different modes and options you can do to help you get your ideas out there. Essentially, Minecraft is just a game. It's a, basically a sandbox game where you get to walk around, fly, build, and create things. Whether that's buildings, or you can go on adventures within Minecraft. But today, we're mostly going to be focusing on creative mode, which is a sandbox mode where you basically just get a bunch of blocks, and you get to build whatever you want. And you get to just kind of use your imagination and be very creative. So we're in the Minecraft loading page right now. Uh, if you first don't know how to install Minecraft, we can go over here to minecraft.net. One second. Minecraft.net. You can click Get Minecraft. Click Computer. And if you don't have Minecraft already, you can click Buy Minecraft. And then it will have you create an account there. Now, once you get this game, you can install it and run the installer after you log in and. Minecraft will be good to go. So now we're up here, and uh, let's go ahead and create a, a single player creative world. So we're gonna go ahead and click single player. This is the this is the first screen that appears once we first get into Minecraft. So we're gonna click single player. Takes a second to load. Now here we have a few different options for our Minecraft world. So. Here we can make our world name, so let's just call it my world. And uh, here we can set the game mode. So survival is basically a survival type mode, as the name uh, suggests. You have a certain amount of health, you have a certain amount of hunger, and basically your object is just to survive. And you have to craft to make things you can't fly to. Uh, there's also hardcore, if you die once in the game, the world gets deleted. And there's also creative mode. So today we're just going to be focusing on creative mode. Um, we don't need to worry about the difficulty, but these are kind of the level of uh, monsters that are in the game. So let's set it to peaceful because we don't want any monsters right now. Allow cheats we can keep on in case we want to customize anything. Now if we go over to more world options, here we can uh, type in a seed. So if you have a, if you have a world that you like and you want to use that, you can copy and paste the seed into here. Generate structures is on, so like villages and dungeons. Now here we do world type. So if we go into world type default here, let's actually create the world right now. All right, so we are fully loaded into our Minecraft world. Now to move around, right now I'm just looking around by dragging the mouse. If I move it down, it looks down, up, up. Moving around just lets me look. If I start walking, see it says on the top right, W-A-S, sorry, W-A-S and D. And we like this. So, and also you can fly by pressing double space. All right, and then if you sprint, you can hold control. You can tap control, and you start sprinting. Or you can double press the W Alright, so let's press the W key. So right now we're just walking around. If we want to fly, we can press this. Shift lowers us. And double space, if you press space, it keeps raising us. Alright, now if we press E, we have our inventory. Now this is the main part of creative, is that you get access to all these different types of blocks that you can use within the game. So here we have different sort of blocks, right? So we have our stone blocks. If we scroll down, basically any block you can imagine there's in the game. You can use these to build your creations. And as we can see here on the top, we have uh, sort of uh, categories for us for each block. So we have building blocks here. We have like plants and decorations over here. We have redstone, which we can get into later. We have transportation, so stuff like boats and rails. And yeah, that's all we have to worry about for now. And now let's say you want to use a block that you want to build with. So let's uh, let's say we want this piece of wool right here. So we're going to left click on it, 
move our mouse down here and put it into the first item in our inventory. Now to exit the inventory, you press E. And you can also search for items. So let's say I want wood, right? Any wood item will appear here. Or let's say I want iron, stuff like that. So we have our block in our hand. Now we can access different hands here. Let's let's put this block there, this block here, that block there. We can access different items in our hands by either scrolling. So I'm scrolling down, going this way, and scrolling up, going that way. Or we can press the numbers. So we press spot three, number four on my keyboard, number five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's go to number one. Now if we move around, we can see that there's this little cross here in this section of the screen. Now whatever block this is under, you'll see a black outline around it. Now this shows just whatever block you're going to do something with. So if I left click, it breaks a block. But if I right click, it places it. Right, so let's say I want to build some blocks here, right? One, let's say I just want to build a little square. square and let's say okay I don't like the corners so I can left click and that gets rid of the block here now one cool thing about uh, Minecraft is that you can place blocks on top of each other like this you can even build them out and let's say like you build a block under some other blocks and you break the other ones around it they'll stay floating just like this you don't need anything uh, structurally to hold them up no, yeah, so right now we're in creative, so I'll just to fly around, you don't take any damage, stuff like that. But if we go ahead and uh, switch to survival, I'll do this by doing, uh, using a cheat by pressing slash and then game mode. And then either like survival if we want to switch to survival mode. So slash game mode. Now we're in survival mode, and the first thing you'll notice is that above your hand we have health, and we also have this little food symbol. So it, we could take fall damage, right? Like if I go into this pit of lava, you start taking damage, and if you take enough, you can eventually die. We also have hunger. Hunger uh, runs out over time. The more uh, the more you sprint, the more hunger it uses. See, I'm still taking damage from the uh, from the lava. Now if you jump into water, it can fix it. Yes, we can't fly, and uh, we have limited resources available. So basically, in creative mode, you can place as many blocks or break as many blocks as you want. Within survival, it takes time to break blocks, and different tools allow us to uh, break blocks faster or uh, slower. So for example, if we go and uh, get like a diamond pickaxe, for example, we can break this block a lot faster like this now shovels are really good for breaking dirt and gravel pickaxes are really good for breaking uh, stones and uh, axes are good for breaking wood and uh, hoes are used to till soil if you're farming but yeah so that's basically for survival you can take damage you take fall damage like this if I fall. If your hunger runs out, you have to basically uh, get food, and then that's how um, that's how you replenish your hunger. So basically, more of like a survival type of game rather than a rather than a uh, creative type of game. But each has their own place within the game. Yes, yeah, so we're back in creative now. If you see, I go into this lava. You can't take any damage. Nothing. I can break anything with one click. Right? Doesn't matter. And that's like basically like that's one of the big advantages of creative is that it takes away all the survival aspect and just lets you create whatever you want. All right, so now I'll be showing you how to fill a specific area with blocks. So this can be very useful as um, it can save a lot of time with creating stuff within Minecraft. Um, instead of having to manually place a block, like let's say we have this square right here. Instead of manually have to fill each block like this, we can just type in the command and it can fill the block for us. So let's start here. Now we're going to press FNF3. 
Now what this does is it kind of brings up a big menu of the screen and uh, what's going on within the game. So if you notice here, we have a block called, we have a thing on the left side called block. Now this shows our coordinates, so X, Y, and Z. So see if I move right, that number on the left, see 20, 21, 22, 23, it shifts. If I move forward, that number 19, 18, 17, 16, we'll go backward 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. If I jump up and down, that middle number will change under block, next to block. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna do slash fill. So let's say we wanna fill in this square, and then we do space. And then make sure your cursor here, I'll do it. Make sure your cursor is looking at the block that you want to start filling in. So what we're doing is we're going to fill in this area. Now we want it to be diagonal. So we're going to fill from here diagonally over to here because we want to fill in the whole area. So make sure you're looking at the block you want to place. We're going to do slash fill. And then the block that we're looking at, it brings it up for us. So we're going to use our arrow keys to go down to this number. We're going to press tab to fill it in for us. And then we're actually going to write that down. So let's write down that coordinate. I'm going to do 24, 71, 15. All right. Now let's go over to the other place that we want to fill, which is this corner. We're going to look at it, and then we're going to slash type slash fill. Go down this arrow, press tab to fill that in. We're going to press space to set this second coordinate. And now now we're going to type in the coordinates that we filled in from earlier, which was negative 24, so we're going to type that in, press space, 71, press space again, and then, and then we're going to type in 15. Now we're basically saying, okay, fill in from this block diagonally to that block, because we want to do that whole square section. If we wanted to do just a straight line, we would just do, we would measure the coordinates across from each other, but since we want to fill that whole area, we want to fill it diagonal. And then this, now we're gonna type in the name of the block. So I happen to know what I have, it's called lime wool, lime wool. So we're gonna go down, you know, let's type in wool. Go down to lime using your arrow keys and we're gonna press tab. Now if I press enter, I get F3. This whole area is filled in. I didn't have to, I didn't have to manually fill it in. So if you have a really big uh, area, this can be very useful as it lets you sort of fill in a certain area without having to spend all that time doing that. This is very useful when you're in creative mode because let's say you want to build a giant building, you can fill it in like that. All right, so it's starting to become nighttime now as we can see in the sky. Now, before I go to my next tutorial, I'll show you how to set the time of day if you're in creative. So we're gonna do slash time set day. Press enter and changes to daytime. Great, now we can see and uh, go into our next part of the lesson. So I'm going to be teaching you about pressure plates, levers, and uh, buttons. So this is just a very brief um, kind of introduction to redstone. And um, yeah, so right now we're just going to focus on these three. Basically, they'll let you interact with uh, something around you or it triggers something. So these are all sort of triggers for um, different sort of contraptions. So today I'm going to be doing uh, doors but you can usually use these for trap doors and other various things as well, like minecarts if you have a minecart track. So I'm gonna place down a door now. I can close and open it by right clicking it, but if we have something like an iron door, see I can't I can't open it without without uh without a tool of some sort. So I'm gonna press down this. So I can either right click it to open it and close it myself. Or I can have something do that uh, for me. So yeah, we place on a button now. It can't be diagonal. It has to be in front or next to the thing you're trying to open. So see if I place down this button by right clicking, and I right click again, I'm pressing it and it opens that door. It stays open for a bit and then it closes. Put it on this side, same thing happens. If I put it in front of it, same thing happens. Now you can also put blocks around it like this. So if I, oops, if I, Build a block like this and put like a button here or a button here. These both keep the door open. Now if I place a door on the adjacent side like this, they both uh, keep open and close the door. Now if we do these with iron doors, iron, the only way you can open or close an iron door is with like a button or a lever. So a button 
keeps it for a certain time and then it closes it after like a second or two. A lever is a toggle, so it closes when you, it opens when you press it one way and then it closes when you press it the other. So a lever, no matter how long I leave it open, it stays open. If I switch it back, it closes. So unlike a bucket button, this has a toggle state. Now there's also a pressure pad. You put that in front of something and when you press it on it, it triggers it. So if I stand in front of this door, it opens the door for me like that. And it closes it behind me. Just like that. See? And uh, yeah, so whenever you're placing something, so here. You can also place it above stuff like this. Place a button or a lever. And yeah, so those are basically a basic guide to this. You can also use uh, trap doors. So if you go ahead and trap door with the levers. We can either open it by right clicking or we can set up a button to do it for us. And open it like that. So yeah, that's basically our intro to uh, pressure pads, buttons, and levers. All right, so to finish, let's uh, end this video by building a house, kind of combining all of our elements together that we learned. So. Uh, I'm just going to build like a little simple uh, wooden cabin, just kind of like using everything that we've learned and kind of using creative mode to help build it. So we're just going to start with like some, a foundation. So let's do a one. Let's make it this wide. Yeah, a little bit shorter. Like that. And this little square. And then let's put some cobblestone down here. Yeah, so these are all the things that we're going to be using to build the house. So you see, we have an oak log, some oak planks, some cobblestone, oak door, oak stairs, and glass panes. Uh, we're going to use the stairs mainly for the roofing. One cool thing about Minecraft is you can use any block however way you want. So even though these are stairs, we're just going to be using them for uh, the roof. And let's, uh, let's actually grab some cobblestone stairs as well to make a little bit more detail. Now let's uh, fill in this block, this space with the uh, oak planks. Now we're gonna have our entrance, let's say over here. So this is gonna be the front front door area. And this is gonna be a very small house. All right, how tall do we want? Let's do a three. Three high for the first floor. And now one thing about oak logs is that, see how if you replace them, that look like this, we have kind of the non-bark side facing up. So wherever I put my crosshair, that's where the bark side is going to face. So if I place it on the ground, the bark side is going to face up. If I place it sideways like this, the bark side is going to face out. So whatever side you're looking on, that's what side the non-bark is going to follow. Right now, let's just fill in this with uh, wooden planks. Now we need a little space for our doorway. A doorway is two blocks tall. So we need a little space. Just two blocks. There we go. I'm going to place our door right there. Awesome. So that's our first floor pretty much done. So back today. Alright, now let's get some torches so we can have some light on the inside. And then one right there. 
Let's put a window here. These are glass panes. These are just basic windows. Like that. Now let's have a roof, kind of like a staircase going up. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it start here. Staircase also faces the way that you move it. So if I do it like this, the staircase will look like that. And then let's actually have on the edges a stone staircase. So we're gonna have it like this going all the way across. here and we go here now let's make a ladder um, go in here just to get to the second floor actually no that would be two Awesome, here's your second floor. Let's place some torches down just to brighten it up a bit. Now to go up a ladder, you just walk forward and it brings you up like that. But uh, yeah, that's our house. Um, you can obviously decorate it if you want, you know. Add like a bed in it or uh, stuff like that. You can, a bed up here, add a bed up there. You can add different like bookshelves. There's a book, a bunch of decoration blocks. All these, all these different kind of blocks here. You can kind of decorate your house with. So some bookshelves that you could add. shelf there you know but yeah so that's basically um how you build in minecraft house um like i said this is just to kind of show you stuff you can do within minecraft this is obviously not a you must follow this you can, if you want you can uh if you want you can make this house bigger you can make it smaller you can change it up it's always, always up to you and what you want to do with it. For example, if you want to add some leaves around here, just kind of make bushes. That's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, there's a lot more in Minecraft you can go in depth on, but this is just a basic, uh, basic tutorial if you want to get started. You know, just the very basic stuff within Minecraft. So. Yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. Uh, thank you for watching.